At the climate change conference in Paris, mankind set a goal for itself. Stop global warming. To do this, CO2 emissions must be considerably decreased, including in traffic. Renewable energy and electric drive systems are very important for this. But can all mobility be electrified with the help of batteries and fuel cells? Not quite, because airplanes, ships, and even trucks will often be powered by combustion engines in the future as well. That's why new fuels are being researched worldwide that ensure that even combustion engines operate CO2 neutral. The trick? Synthetic fuels, or so-called e-fuels. These are based on a simple idea. They are produced exclusively with renewable energy, whereby hydrogen is initially extracted from water. But for a liquid fuel, carbon is still needed. In industry, a lot of CO2 accrues that could be used as raw material. But what if you could extract carbon from the surrounding air? To do so, you need many fans that draw in air and filter out the CO2 contained therein. From CO2 and hydrogen, you then obtain e-fuel, otherwise known as synthetic fuel, artificial gasoline, diesel or kerosene. With these, not only ships and airplanes, but also trucks and cars can drive CO2 neutral with a combustion engine. The challenge. The manufacturing process is currently still painstaking and expensive, but after all, so were wind and solar energy once. Experts believe that as soon as 2025, synthetic fuels could make gasoline and diesel-powered vehicles CO2 neutral and make a significant contribution to stopping global warming.